Hey Facebook friends, I should do it this way. Hey Facebook friends, I'm uh, here in my apartment in Vancouver. Look at my sweet Star Wars Episode 7 poster. It's the first Episode 7 merch that I've bought. And I'm pretty excited about that movie. What I've got on my hand here is uh, a Perception Neuron glove. Perception Neuron is a product made by Kickstarter that I helped back um, over a year ago, but less than two years ago, I think. And uh, it just arrived the other day in the mail in North Bend, and then I went to get it. My parents brought it halfway, and I met them halfway. Anyway, now it's here. And uh, it works by having all of these little sections that um, each one of these will be, um, a chip will be inserted into each one. Uh, there's 10 on just my arm right now, sockets for these little chips. And uh, the chips each have an accelerometer, a gyro, and a magnetometer inside them. And because of the magnetometer, I'm not allowed to get these things. They warn you all over the place not to put these near uh, computers, TVs, refrigerators, speakers, magnets, headphones, anything. So you gotta be really careful with these guys. But like, take a look at this. I'm gonna open it really quickly. So take a look at this. These are the little microchips. Don't they look important? So I'm gonna start plugging them in and uh, I'll get my arm test working. So here we are. I've installed uh, Axis Neuron as you can see and uh, I've got my arm all hooked up, just my left arm for now. Later I'll do the whole body thing but for right now I just wanna test one arm out. So I'm gonna connect and uh, it's warning me about the old fire firmware that's on here, but it should still work. And uh, it's not calibrated yet, but you can see a little bit of it working. Oh, so if you, I guess you're looking at me like this. I just need to do calibrations over again. So we got to do the. I'm going to do the still. And that just means hold still. Then we have the uh, A pose. Then we have the T pose. I moved a little bit, but there we go. <laughs> oh, and we've got mocap so the interesting thing that I'm noticing is the fingers when I touch my fingers together it doesn't necessarily touch its fingers together and I think the reason for that is uh, it doesn't know the length of my fingers and also uh, I think this is animation that I, when I do it for production purposes, I'm going to be re, uh, kind of calibrating the actual motion to, uh, the character when I bring the animation into Maya. Well, the clipping plane is really far away. I wonder if I can change that. See, look how far away the fingers are <laughs> from the thumb. I guess maybe I'm just not doing the thumb correctly. Maybe I need to have... I look, I've got like a Jack Skellington hand. What's this? All in all though, I'm pretty excited about the potential of this. Let's get this from the lower angle. It will 
kill me, man. Let's get some good key poses. I think this would be good for spider animation as well. Or or a lot of creature. Any anything you can puppeteer in real life is something you can puppeteer by copying keyframes from this, which is a an exciting thing. <laughs> Even if I do have a stuffy nose. He doesn't even care. Whatever. Put it over there. <laughs> I need to get the, I need the fingers closer together. It doesn't seem to get uh, horizontal motion between the fingers, it just gets the, the curves. Which is useful. It's not going to be as useful as it would be otherwise. Maybe that's a firmware thing. Maybe with updates, these things will come. Anyway, you don't, in, in real motion capture with the, uh, the whole room volume that they do for Hollywood, you don't even get finger motion at all. You have to do that by hand afterwards as an animator. But in this, I get the finger motion, at least a halfway decent finger motion that I can fix up later. It's so creepy. Grab me a goblet of something cool and refreshing. It doesn't actually put the goblet in there. That's my job. I can't... Like, I can make a fist, but it doesn't quite register as a fist. Maybe my fingers are too... Let's, let's try calibrating one more time just to see how it works. So, I'm going to tell you the three different calibration things I, I have to do. So I have to do a steady pose, which is not a specific pose of any kind. I just have to um, stay still, as still as I possibly can. A pose is just arms down to my side, and then T pose is arms straight out, and fingers straight without bending them too far backwards, because otherwise you get the stuff I've already been getting. So let's try this again. Oh, I don't have to do the still pose anymore. Better. The pinky broke, but it's better. It still can't do a fist. I'm just gonna have to uh, push the animation a little bit. But it's still very... Look at that. Look what I can do with this. In seconds, I get a lot of animation. Stop! Do not... Yeah, the pinky is totally broken. I gotta do it again. And there's something fun about doing the calibration. There we go. I think my fingers were too bent this time. Look at it. Holy! One more time. One more time. There we go. Now that works. That gets a pretty good motion, doesn't it? Jack Sparrow when he becomes a skeleton. I love, I just love doing this. Stop! cried the Archdeacon. Everything you see lies before you, and you may eat everything except one thing, but I will not tell you what it is. 
That is for you to, to decide. <laughs> I can get the. It knows that my hand is in a specific space, and it knows that my elbow is in a specific space. It knows how my arm is rotating, but it's not allowed to move my shoulder, even though I am allowed to move my shoulder. So it knows, it only knows where they are relative to each other. Except that, no, it knows where they are in space, but it can only position them relative to each other and keep the skeleton working. That looks really cool. That looks really good. That's what you're saying. So maybe... Ooh, he's... Penitent. He's thinking. Pensive. He's... He's provoked thought. This is such a good calibration. I love this. I love this. I love it. Look at this. Yeah. Who killed John F. Kennedy? I killed John F. Kennedy. <laughs> Why'd I kill John F. Kennedy? Because he did this to me. He gave me a thumbs up and I killed him. Because I'm a dangerous man. Uh, one hand to change the world. He's really posh. Keep his pinky up. And that is why, my dear boy, we do things with muskets. The thumb is really tiny on this guy. Maybe, maybe my thumb is just really big. Why? It's so good. It's I can play with this for hours. So that's exciting. Super easy software. I was expecting to have to spend like eight hours figuring this out. But it happened in moments. And I can record this animation, bring it into Maya, put it on a character, and you have a movie. That's how easy this is going to be. Now I just need time to do it. But, exciting. And that's all for today. More exciting news to come, hopefully. <laughs>